What's up guys? In this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Reaper as your dog choice to control your Helix via MIDI and that involves patch changing and snapshot changing. Okay so the first thing that you want to do is have your Reaper session open and then have your song that you're going to be changing settings to uh, loaded. In this case I have the song that I just did uh, which is uh, an Amanomarth medley. And then you're going to create uh, another track and then create uh, a new MIDI item. Insert a new MIDI item. And then you're going to drag that the length of the song so you can have all your MIDI changes uh, to the end of the track. And then what you need to have is uh, a plugin in Reaper on that MIDI track called uh, REA control MIDI and have the bank and program select enabled as well as the pro, uh, control change enabled. If I miss anything that's not default just look at these values and uh, it should work fine. Alright so I have my session it has the song that I just did which is the uh, Line 6, 2204, Mod 4 patch, which is the uh, Amato Marth medley. So I have that loaded. I have that as my backing track. Take a listen to that. Right. Okay, so there's a few things that you need to know uh, straight away when trying to control the helix with MIDI messages. In your MIDI item, when you go to edit it, you need the program change block here, number 69, which is hold to pedal, but don't worry about what that means. Different pieces of MIDI gear have different decodings for what that is. And then I have the MIDI bank, uh, sorry, bank program select down here. Now if we zoom in and I double click this, it says bank MSB LSB 1 and 2 with a program number of 30. Now if you look on the helix, right next to rename set list above uh, the knob 2, there's a CC32 colon 002, PC colon 030, and then a CC69 which is 000. So for each preset that you have, each preset is going to have its own number in the bank that it's in. I'm using user1, which is the third folder in the preset. By the way, you get to this by just depressing the preset knob. And the way that the Helix is decoding user1 or folder3 is CC32002. So I'm telling it to send a bank change, or sorry, a yeah, a bank change of LSB value 2 and a program number of 30. Because the preset is 30, indicated by PC30, and CC32 at 002. To change presets, whole presets, all you have to do is adjust the program number as long as it's within the same bank. Not sure what MSB does, but the LSB controls the banks, like factory 1, factory 2, so on and so forth. Meanwhile, the program number is the preset number that you need. So I'm going to make this bigger, and we're going to go through the snapshot changes. So for the snapshots, snapshots are controlled by CC or control change 69, and that I have here. In the beginning of the song, it starts out with a slightly low gain sound. It adjusts from 2 to 4 on the amp model, the drive block. So if I go to that first one, it starts off at 2, and then it goes down, it goes up to 4. And my first snapshot that the song starts at is going to be snapshot 5. Now if I recall this, 
Snapshot 5 under CC69 is 004. Now, because I want the song to start at that snapshot and not snapshot 1, I have to put in a CC message telling it to switch to that. So in uh, CC69 for the, the controller here, you go up, you click, drag up, and then in the top corner, you see the value changing. And then that value is going to be what snapshot it's going to go to, minus one. Because snapshots start at zero, you have to add one to the value to get your snapshot. So I want snapshot five to start off. So I'm going to put in a value of four in the CC69 change. Or a CC69 control. So now that I have that, and it's indicated up here, by the way. Couldn't point and drag at the same time. So if I start the session, let's go to a random preset. So when I start the song, or the session, it's going to switch to preset 30. And then when the mouse, or sorry, when the session cursor scrolls over this change, it's going to tell it to go to, to snapshot number 5. Perfect. Now in the song, when the guitars kick in, when the whole song kicks in, it goes down to a slightly higher gain sound, uh, and then that just goes to snapshot number one. And that's the same thing as the first one. I'm going to delete this just so I can show you. You drag a, a, change, uh, a value change cursor here, and you go down to zero because snapshot one has a CC69 value of zero. So let's start, do that again. So when everything kicks in, it switches to the higher gain and you can change that by just moving this back and forth or putting in a new one. Reaper's control for MIDI changes is a little peculiar so you might have to it might take some playing around with to get used to but once you get the hang of it it's not that bad okay so in when the song goes to uh, the drop a songs uh, I'm playing everything in drop B I'm on what plays six string standard at uh, B standard so they would go down to drop a so I would go to a full step down using the uh, pitch wham, two semitones down. Indicated there. Now when the song goes to uh, Guardians of Asgard, I want it to change from my regular rhythm tone to the same rhythm tone with that pitch wham in. So I put in the message here at value one, because snapshot value, sorry, snapshot two, it's CC69 value is one, zero, zero, one. So let's see what that, that works. There you go. And it's basically the same concept for every single time you want to change in your song or in your session. If you have solos coming up like I have here, uh, an EQ boost, a gain boost, uh, and a delay and reverb. And that would that's all programmed to Snapshot 3, which is my first lead. And I know that that has a CC69 value of 2. So this value here is going to go up to 2, indicated by here when I was editing it. And then after that, 
there's a harmony that you could you know double track or or you know dub over but i've configured the harmonizer the twin harmony to the harmonies that are played in the song one is a, a third down and then the other one's a full octave down so with the same solo settings as snapshot 3 i just chose to make it snapshot 8 with the twin harmony effect on and that would be CC69 value of 7. And then right after that, there's a, a solo with the, the wah. And instead of having to go and actually click on the wah for the bypass, I've just programmed the wah, the whole wah block to turn on in a different snapshot. So I have that at uh, snapshot 4 which is the same exact snapshot as three, except with the Y engaged. So then those three settings, oh, sorry, those three changes will be shown and changed here. And then it goes back to the same rhythm tone as uh, the beginning of the song at snapshot one. And then the only other change that I have is at the end of the song, where it's a, a very light gain telephony type effect, where it's all mid cut, uh, sorry, all mid boost and low and high cuts, uh, and that's for uh, the Twilight of the, of the Thunder Gods part, and that's going to be snapshot six, which is CC sixty nine value of five, and that's going to look like this on a change. And that's basically it. And then the last change is uh, going back to the original rhythm tone at uh, snapshot one. Keep on thinking I'm saying snapchat. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's basically how I figured it out in, in Reaper. I'm sure it is very similar in Pro Tools. Again, if anybody knows how to do it in Pro Tools, uh, please let me know. Let us know. Because I'm sure there's a lot of Pro Tools users out there that still don't really know how to con use their their Helix uh, with it. I didn't even know that you had to use the uh, the REA control plugin until I looked at the video. So uh, it's good. It's a good thing to know. And uh, yeah, this is really useful for if if you're if you're playing a show, let's say, and your band's playing to a click track, and you have, or you have just parts in the song that. Uh, you really just don't want to be near your Helix 4 or if you're using the rack without a foot controller or and, and anything like that. Um, as long as you have your, your snapshots programmed and with the way that you can use them with the parameter changes or even just complete bypass block bypasses per snapshot. Uh, I've now started playing shows where my entire live setup is one preset and then I just have the different snapshots for... Uh, from song to song, or from parts to parts of individual songs. Um, but let's say you do have to go a different, uh, different preset every single song. So yeah, all you would have to do for the second song, let's say, on your on your set list, uh, would be instead of having, or rather after this one, let's say the start the song starts over here, and you would just type in here, go to the next preset, which maybe is thirty. And then it would automatically switch to the next preset, which would be 30. And then you can tell it to start on a specific snapshot, uh, or whatever that may be. So yeah, that's pretty much an overview how to use uh, MIDI messages in Reaper to control the Helix presets and snapshots. 
Um, if there's anything unclear, please just leave a comment. Uh, I'll try to explain it as best I can if I haven't already. And uh, and yeah, have fun. Have a good one, guys.